In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between yogurt and milk kefir. Hi there, my name is Nadia and I've been microbe farming since 2012. Go check out my website naturalgreen.coza and find out a little bit more. Today we are talking about milk kefir versus yogurt. The Western world is very much familiar with yogurt as probiotic, but kefir has way more probiotics in it than yogurt does. We are talking about 10 to 52 different strains of probiotic bacteria and yeast that's present in kefir and yogurt may contain anything between two to seven strains of bacteria. These probiotics have many health benefits like weight maintenance, mental health and digestion. What's interesting about the kefir culture is that it consumes the lactose that's present in milk. Many of those who are lactose intolerant can tolerate kefir because the kefir culture breaks down the lactose present in milk. That also means that yogurt is much sweeter than kefir. Because of the microbes present in kefir, it makes it more digestible for infants and the elderly. Kefir is not as thick as yogurt though. It's got a drinking yogurt consistency, but there is ways of thickening your kefir. So what does yogurt basically do? But the main thing that yogurt does is it goes into your gut and it lines the gut, giving food to the good bacteria that's already there. It doesn't stay for long because it doesn't colonize the gut with good bacteria like kefir does. And that is what makes kefir special because it can actually stick to the gut wall and colonize the gut with the good bacteria, regulating the good and bad bacteria so that the bad bacteria don't take over and wreak havoc. Kefir is aggressive in nature, so they can even kill pathogens. This means that kefir can go into your gut, stay there, make more good bacteria, and it combats things like irritable bowel disease and H. pylori. A major difference between kefir and yogurt is that kefir contains yeast, good yeasts that your body needs. If you don't have good yeast in your body, you give the bad yeasts a chance to populate. Candida is an example of yeast. Kefir contains certain amino acids which actually helps with calming anxiety and curbing chocolate cravings. Kefir is great for sorting out gut problems and digestive issues. There's this thing called the gut-brain axis and that basically says that when your gut is happy, your brain is happy. So you would be more at ease, more focused when your gut is in order. Every Friday is Fermentation Friday. Press that subscribe button and go over, click on that bell button if you don't want to miss out. Suggestions, questions, please pop it in at the comments below or you can send me an email, Nadia at naturalgreen.coza. All the links, everything is in the description below. So have a lovely day and happy fermenting!